All right, you tubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today we're going to take a look at the British Churchill NA-75. The tank infantry Mark IV A-22 was a British heavy infantry tank used in the Second World War. The origins of the Churchill's design, the A-20, lay in the expectation that the war in Europe might be fought under conditions similar to those of the First World War, trench warfare, and thus the design emphasized armor and the ability to cross difficult ground over speed. The Battle of France proved that the coming war was not going to be a stagnant trench warfare conflict. The Churchill's initial design, based on trench warfare, was proven to be obsolete and a new one was envisioned. However, the tank suffered from an underpowered engine, weak armament, and mechanical issues which caused poor performance on the battlefield. In fact, the Churchill's production was almost canceled in favor of the Cromwell due to these issues. But its usage in the Second Battle of El Alamein proved its value and kept it in service. The NA-75, a workshop improvised Churchill variant, is a testament to the ingenuity of one British officer, Captain Percy H. Morrell, an officer of the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. Captain Morrell served in Tunisia and was charged with disassembling and breaking down battle-damaged tanks, in particular M4 Shermans. While disassembling the damaged M4 tanks, Captain Morrell noticed that many of the Shermans 75mm M3 guns were still in operational condition. He also noted that many of the Churchills lost in battle had received hits to the gun and mantlet area. It had been observed that in the bright sun of the desert, the recessed mantlet of the Churchill turret caused a visible shadow, providing a clear aiming point for German gunners. High velocity shells hitting this area would either jam the weapon in place or pass straight through the mantlet, knocking out the vehicle. As such, Morrell began formulating a plan to make use of the working Sherman 75mm M3 guns by mounting them into the turret of Mark IV Churchills. The Sherman's external mantlet, specifically the M34 type, might provide a quick fix to this problem, giving this weak area a much needed boost in armor protection. It was hoped that its curved shape might induce a ricochet and also, obviously, remove the dark recess aiming point. Captain Morrell also hoped this would fix an additional weakness of the Churchill. That was the Churchill's inability to fire a high explosive round. This was a problem with the two-pounder and six-pounder guns. Both of these guns lacked a powerful HE round, so anti-infantry and emplacement operations were difficult, making the British infantry support tank not able to properly support infantry. The Sherman's 75mm M3 gun did not have this issue. It was able to fire a potent HE round. These tanks would be designated as the Churchill NA-75. This was attributed to the vehicle's place of birth, NA for North Africa, and 75 for the transferred 75mm M3 gun. In total, 200 Churchill Mark IVs were upgraded to the NA-75 standard, and a shortage of tanks meant that the Churchills worked alongside Shermans in their intended role as infantry support tanks. The Churchills blasted their way through battlefield defenses while the faster Shermans and infantry exploited any breakthroughs. Witnessing their success firsthand, 
Major General Tope sent a letter back to Captain Morrell stating, I should be glad if you would congratulate the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers concerned on doing a quick job which has been most valuable to this brigade. Following the success of his upgrades and the flood of praise that accompanied it, Captain Morrell was awarded the Military MBE, member of the most excellent order of the British Empire, and received a promotion to Major. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the Churchill NA-75 is a British Rank 3 heavy tank with a battle rating of 4.3. It has a 556 horsepower engine propelling the 39 ton vehicle to a top speed of 18.5 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 75 millimeter M3 cannon with a maximum ammo load of 81 rounds. Its secondary armament is a 7.92 BESA machine gun. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150 which gives me a reload of 5.3 seconds. So what do I think of the Churchill NA-75 here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, if I'm remembering correctly, I didn't enjoy the previous Churchills all that much, but it seems that this addition of the 75 millimeter M3 cannon is a very good improvement. Now it doesn't help with the maneuverability of the vehicle at all, but it is a good firepower improvement, especially the addition of that HE round. And you should take a few of those as they make quick work of the lightly skinned vehicles like trucks and armored cars. Now let's take a quick look at my service record with this vehicle as it will give a more accurate description of the vehicle's overall performance. Now at the time of this video recording, I had been in 96 battles, I had died 73 times, and I had killed or destroyed 372 ground targets. And that works out to roughly a five to one kill to death ratio. And now let's compare that to the other Churchills. The Mark III, I had a 2.3 to one kill to death ratio. The Mark VII, also 2.3 to one. The Churchill Crocodile was 2.2 and the Churchill Mark I was 2.1. And as you can see, I didn't have near as many battles in the other crocodiles because, frankly, they just weren't as much fun as the Churchill NA-75, which, in my experience, is the best of the bunch. Now, that being said, why don't we take a look at some gameplay? All right, we picked up Stalingrad. We are on the western side of the map. Three cap points. You know I'm going to see. See you there. I do like the new info card with the latest update. Gonna head right between these railroad cars and go over this little mound of hill or mound of debris. Now, the speed of the vehicle is supposed to be 18.5, but I'm, I'm hitting 19. I might, I might be breaking the land speed record. 
in the Churchill. smoke now it does take quite a bit longer to get to a position and you are a really big target so if you're crossing some open areas you need to be aware that you know you might get taken out oh wow that was a lucky shot I just snapped that off. Didn't think anything would come of it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Let's try that again. Yes! Yes! Right through the cars. Can we go through here? M10? Yes, we can! Plane available. Let's see, come on, give me some green. It's KV1, he's kind of tough. Come on. Maybe we can take him out with a bomber. We already got one fighter that's going to be on us, I can see. Maybe I'll live to drop some bombs. I got two bombs two fighters on us. Here's the heavy tank. And maybe you. And maybe you. I got one more. Can I get turned around and drop it on somebody? I have three targets destroyed. Four! Look at that! And there's another KV right there. Oh, it's a stir mule. But no. Come on, let's get five. Yes! <laughs> nice, nice. That was a good bombing run. Knock down some of these fences. It's hard to aim through the fence sometimes, so I like to get rid of them. Take a peek around here again. T-14, full on side shot. In my opinion, this gun makes the Churchill so much better. I mean, it's not like the 17 pound or anything like that good, but it's, it's a good gun at this tier. You will have trouble with like KVs and uh, Sherman 105s and things of that nature. But if you're patient.
Are these enemies going to make a move? Oh, who got him? Sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry. These guys are coming around. I was watching them on the mini. Oh, he's coming over the top. Oh, that was bad. Turned my ass toward him. And again, I missed him. Oh. There you go. Right on the cheek. Two enemies right here around the corner. Definitely wasn't going to take that bombing run. The heavy tank is moving. So you're going to come around this corner. Oh, he died. Let's make a move on this guy. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, he hit my gun. Alright, let's get back around the edge of this building. Do some repairs. Oh, and a bombing run just happened to pop up. We got four bombs. We'll try to drop one over here on A, but we might have trouble getting through the buildings. Maybe one for this SPAA. I can't get over here. Oh no. And the work verbal wind took me out. Got the AA gun though. Got one enemy tank moving toward B. So let's head over that way. It's a Panzer IV. Oh. I hit him. Let's find a better place. Oh, he's moving. And there's a tank destroyer to my left. Hopefully he won't come here and pop me in the side. All right, let's see. There you go. Now, where'd that tank destroyer get to? Okay, it's an SU-122. I hit him and kill him. Oh, I think he's going to get away. Ah! Oh. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Dang it! I 
was hoping for the backup vehicles. All right. North African Tricolor, Camouflage, Multi-Strike, Triple Strike, Ground Force Rescuer, Shadow Strike Streak, Multi-Strike, Ground Multi-Strike, Avenger, According to Intelligence, Tank Rescuer, Base Defender, Multi-Strike, Adamant, Professional, Without a Miss, Survivor, Heavy Metal Hero, The Best Squad. There we are, top of the leaderboard. Let me count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, we picked up Kuban. <sighs> My goodness. Yeah, we're going up Overwatch the A cap. It's my one of my favorite positions on this map. Now, if not the guy who never watches my videos, but if they did, they'd dang sure go and change the map now. We are not going anywhere fast. Looks like the enemy team may already have some overwatch positions. Hopefully I can make it through this little gap. Oh, I actually hit him. Didn't do anything, but at least my lead was correct. We have made it. Now, time to go to work. Come on. Dang it. It's behind a rock. Missed him. Oh, here's this. This guy's in the open. Reload. There we go. Oh, dang it. But we did lots of damage. So he's going to be sitting there for that follow up. Ooh, somebody was sneaking up. Yes. Glad I had a teammate to take him out. I did not know he was coming. Sherman right there. Oh, at least we got him stopped though. Come on, let's find that cheek right there. Oh, I thought I was going to do it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. M10. Oh. Well, somebody's aiming at me. Got a nice hit on the M10. 
Oh, KB, what are you doing? <laughs> M10, yes. Yes. Come on, did we get rid of everybody? Come on up here. Cromwell, what are you doing? Oh, dang it. You coming up here? Is this what you want to do? There you go. We got, looks like a vehicle getting ready to move on Assault the A, so I'm going to pop a little smoke here, try to maybe block the sight of that 105, and that way maybe I can back up and engage somebody if they try to walk or drive over toward the A cap. Oh, and an air battle. control already. I did. I'm out of control. Dang it. Ooh! Side shot on the 105. And I got the M10 with a bomb. So that works. And hey, there's a T-34 there. Oh. Got it. M16. Let's do some HE. Watch, watch, watch this work. Dang it! The tree! Alright, now. Boom! HE round. You gotta love them. The British tanks. At least this one. There's a M16 right there. Do I have a shot on this guy? I do not. Oh, wait. No, he was behind the hill. Can I get you? Dang it. Oh. Nope. Another air battle. Let's do it. Pop some smoke. Make them think I'm still here. And I'm going to reposition. I'm not even going to get down here that quick. Alright, there's an assault tank. It's probably like a T-14. Oh. Where'd he go? There. Oh, dang it. There he is. There's a 105. And let's just come across up here. I don't know, we're just throwing them everywhere. We got one left. Okay, we got an enemy tank moving toward A. 
mean, they have pretty much all three caps. Dang. All right. We're going to need to move over toward A here. Oh, 105. There we go. Panzer 4. Nope. What is that? Oh, shoot, bomb. Turn, turn, go, 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 go. Churchill, go. Gracious. Alrighty. Looks like this is a lost cause, but let's just make a fight of it. See what we can do. There's one. Got heading up here into three more. Oh, dang it, he got my track. How about you? Have that. It's two. Oh, I tried to sneak one under the track. Dang, you got my gunner. Oh, somebody is toasting me up from the rear. That is not acceptable. Don't got a shot. Don't got a shot. Come on. My turn. Here we go. Alright, you. Been back there having fun. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing ground. Some of that. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. Dang it. Okay, base defender, multi strike, shadow strike streak, adamant, avenger, tank rescuer, professional, without a miss, final blow, survivor, heavy metal hero. First place in the team. 15 kills, 96% battle activity. Top of the leaderboard. Okay, it looks like the rest of the team got about 20 kills. Okay. Okay. So the Churchill in a 75. Yeah. If this thing had any kind of mobility, it would be a great tank to play. Uh, it has good armor. Now it has good firepower. The only thing it's lacking is mobility. And if you can overlook that, um, you can have some good fun in this tank. If you hated the Churchills in the past like I did, um, it might be worth going back to give this a try. You may change your mind. Now, I'm interested in what y'all think. What did you think of the previous Churchills? Did you like them? Did you hate them? If you hated them, have you tried the NA-75? And what do you think of that? And on that note, what'd you think of this video? If you like it, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't, but at least let me know why in the comments. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.